Hollows are bound, popping in Steve Bottier because his bed is titled What's with Grooms Humiliating Brides at Their Wedding? What? <laughs> this is a thing that y'all commonly seeing? Why? This is kind of cruel. Um, but I mean, it sounds like they really don't, they don't like y'all like that. That's what it's giving. But they, they done ass married you anyway. Boy math. <laughs> that trend was hilarious. Okay. I was in tears reading some of those and the girls ate the boys up. Okay. It wasn't even comparable anyway. Um, boy math <laughs> is marrying a girl you don't even really want to marry but she on your back about it and you do it just because you don't want to lose her and it's like all right fine when you didn't even want to fucking marry her and, and then you take it out on her at the goddamn wedding because inside you really salty so so you're gonna resent her <laughs> and fuck up the wedding day and, and make her mad because it's like mm, i didn't want to do this that that's boy math because what the fuck i can't think of any other reason why you would want to humiliate your bride because why? Now make no goddamn sense. Anyway, uh, let let's see what's happening in this video, child. As well, which reminds me, my cousin too. I'm gonna tell y'all her business at the end of this video. Oh, Why would he do that and ruin the goddamn cake? You know how expensive those cakes are. Only two things are required Ooh. to keep me happy: keep my belly full and my balls empty. What is it with some of these men Sir, deciding you, at their wedding day? is the day they want to humiliate their new bride. The thing about it is, I keep before. seeing videos like this where She's in other videos. grooms are humiliating their new wives on their wedding day. I remember seeing a video recently where it was this woman and they were about to like do the whole like cake thing, feeding the other person cake. And the, the wife was like, please don't smash it in my face. Like, mm -hmm. what the fuck is that mean? Oh, oh she find hard to prevent that and, and she's like anyway. upset people spend money to actually pay people to do their makeup on their wedding day like it's who wants cake in your nose or in your hair and the photos at a wedding like it's not funny i feel like mm -mm. there's a part of them that resents the fact that they had to marry you what the fuck they, I said? They didn't want to lose you. They didn't want you to what leave. What the fuck I they, said? They knew that it would be over. That you gave them a time <laughs> frame or something. I feel like their way of getting back at you for making them dress up and Boy, them do this thing is for them to try to humiliate you on that day. Just don't fucking marry her, dummy. Dummy nigga. Don't marry her. How stupid. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. And sure, you can be like, well, maybe they do want to marry the girl, but they're just, you know, being silly and they're... they're no, there's a time and fucking place. And that's, that's crossing the line. Especially, you should know your bride. And you should know that she would be upset by that. And she even told him, don't do it, don't do it, no. And she was fighting hard with all her fucking might, all her power and might to prevent him from doing that. And he did it any goddamn way. It's more behind that than just playing. You are too old. Yes. To think stuff like this is, is funny. Yes. Okay, so why did this man do this? It's not because he has no social skills or is Neanderthal. It's because he hates her. And I know it sounds like I'm being dramatic, but he hates her. Men get married because they know that they get all the benefits of marriage. But at the same time, they don't actually want to be married. Now, I'm not saying all men because I'm married. Okay, I say this as a married woman and I'm, I'm very happily married. And honestly, I did not want to get married because all I saw for most of my life was husbands who clearly hated their wives. And even if they didn't clearly hate their wives, they were totally fine letting their wives do literally everything. All, most of the couples I've ever seen, I'm like, okay, what's the point of this? Why are these people together? Because I grew up watching Disney movies where it was Girl, like, ah, nah, 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 nah. and then I'm looking around, I'm like, this is not the same. Most men benefit from marriage because they don't plan on doing anything for that couple. They literally just are parasites. And here's the thing. This was fascinating. I'd always heard that. And when she's saying most men, she's talking about the average man because I feel like people love throwing out uh, men losing in marriage because they, they could have shit taken from them. Most men are not <laughs> these ballers that y'all be seeing online. When you're seeing that these men have to pay 10, 20,000 dollars a month spousal support. 
that's not you and your bum ass life okay no shade but let's stop acting like you got something to lose boy math <laughs> What what I was that? Boy math is you want a prenup and you make forty five thousand dollars a year. No shade to nobody's salary at all, but shut the fuck up. People who be mad and talking shit and comments and all oh, men lose out and and you ain't gonna lose nothing because you ain't got nothing. Okay, so let's stop. A lot of people who the average everyday man he's not losing a lot even if he doesn't have a prenup and he gets divorced. He's you don't really have that much to take in anyway, whatever. But men benefit from marriage and they get raises and all that stuff. As soon as we got married, his boss took him a lot more seriously. He took his vacation days there a are lot social more seriously. Benefits, and if, if, if me and my husband had had kids, I guarantee you my husband would have gotten a raise. Whereas when women get married, they actually, their careers suffer and they do more housework. And then a lot of them are just, you know, schmegs, dolls and free therapists and the secretary and the, uh, you know, clown, the little, you know, just irritating the husband who has no friends. Oh, men literally get all the benefits of marriage and yet they're still pissed they have to get married. Why? Because they don't actually like the women that they choose to marry. Because they don't actually see those women as human beings. Because a lot of times they're literally only getting married to, for the benefits of marriage and they're pissed that they can't go and fork other women. Although they end up doing that anyway. Oh, they can. <laughs> so that fuck? man is a spoiled brat. And he doesn't have the courage to live authentically. He doesn't have the courage to deconstruct patriarchy or question himself. Mm. So instead, he's like, oh, I guess I'll marry this woman. Because she probably pressured it into him because he probably was like dating for forever. Don't don't ever, ever marry pressure a man, man who you have to pressure. Exactly. That's what my story is going to pertain to at the end. Who embarrasses you on a regular basis. And also if he embarrasses you by making you the joke. That man hates you, and you could actually end up dead. Ooh. Because men who hate their wives, kill you know, it escalates. Oh. If nothing else, they'll kill you through your nervous system because they'll be in such a bad mood because they're just Mr. Cranky Pants all the time. So welcome mm -hmm. eggshells around them because why is the baby upset? You don't want to wake the baby. And your nervous system will be like shot, that. and you'll end up with autoimmune disease. Oh. They'll, they'll kill you slowly or kill you outright. But men who do not like you, don't marry them. If they don't like you more than you like them, do not marry them. If it is not okay. evident that they just like you way more than you like them, we gotta stop um, assuming men are stupid we got to stop assuming they don't have any social skills yeah, gotta stop not stupid. Not giving them the benefit of the doubt but it kind of boils down to this a man that. who does that does not see her and probably most women as a human being he knows he needs her and he hates her for it oh. a lot of these men don't want to be getting married they're literally only doing it because they have to and that is the most dangerous man mm -hmm. you can hitch your wagon to because after they destroy years or even decades of your life and waste your time and take your youth and and ruin your body you'll be left with nothing the most dangerous thing you can do and the riskiest thing you can do is marry a man do not take that decision lightly and if and when you do decide to get married no matter how much you trust that man you better get all the paperwork to protect yourself and always have your own money because i promise you that woman is probably not okay i'm legit scared for her because we only witnessed one incident of him humiliating her and how much he hates her. Imagine what he does behind closed doors. Mm. A lot of these men are, are playing out revenge of the nerds with their wives. <laughs> now they have a live-in nerd <laughs> that they can push around and take out all their shit on and she'll still sleep with him and do all of his labor. Men have every no, reason in the world to get married Not and women one. have like so few. They should be begging us to marry them. Not the opposite, y'all. <laughs> Now watch his reaction. She is pissed. Like, why the fuck would you go on this thousand dollar I'm seeing very few people talking about what's actually happening in this. His face doesn't suddenly drop because he realizes he destroyed the cake. He clearly destroyed the cake with the first swipe of that giant sword. And we'll come back to how phallic and everything that is. And you know, just straight up toxic masculinity. But we'll come back, we'll circle back to that. His face drops when he hears the reaction of other people. So let's play it back. Here he is, gleefully destroying the cake. Everything's good, everything's fine. People are reacting with the oohs and ahs and all of a sudden, face drops. And then that's when he picks up the beer and starts trying to play like, oh, he's so drunk, trying to play it off. Oh, what a big accident. I just was over enthusiastic. What we're seeing in real time is men are being revealed as abusers oh. and they don't want to be exposed. So they start playing into this, you know, dumb husband, oh, bumbling idiot role. 
I mean, you guys got to see this in real time. We're going to run it back once oh, more. Good, we he's like, it starts out, look, he's gleefully destroying the cake. He's destroying the cake actively. He's not stopping. He's fine. There's nothing wrong with this man. But then he hears the sighs. He's looking around. Oh, he's, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. He's picking up the bottle. He's acting ashamed. Oh, he's got to wipe the sweat off his brow. I'm so drunk. How could I save the cake? Oh my goodness, I'm just so flustered. And then he gets off camera very quickly. This is all intentional. These guys are so used to intimidating their victims in private oh, right. that they mess around and forget and abuse them in public. And they're like, oh, snap. How am I going to preserve my good guy that, image? So he knew good. better than to smash the cake in his, her face. You know, he's very clever because he knows we've already marked that as abusive. He knows nobody's going to think that's a good natured joke. So instead, he swipes Is as he hard as he can at the cake. He's taking all his frustration out on the cake. He is violent towards this cake. Mm -hmm. This is what happens when you try to turn a shut up ring into a marriage, ladies. These guys have been clear. They do not want to marry you, and that's not excuse for his behavior, I'm just saying. There were Why many red flags for this day. Oh, that's the highest. But once he's into destroying the cake, Girl. he thought everybody was going to laugh so. along. When he started getting kind of booed and whatnot as the bad guy, he couldn't take it. He's used to being the affable nice guy. So I'm going to flip the mind. script. I'm going to play the victim. This guy is clearly a very mentally agile. Oh, my God. Guy. No. Better watch out. I hope I'll, she's safe now. I don't want to hear what else she got to say. There's a bunch of people commenting on that post. I would simply leave. And that it's like, like, yeah, that. that's why the marriage rate is down. Because women have the option to simply leave. And the thing about men is that they're good at testing and pushing boundaries. And so getting down the aisle with a man who does something like this, it's because he's vetted that he could get away with something like this at your wedding. He knows that you'll take it. I've spoken to quite a few women who have been about to get married or engaged and then have been broken up with out of nowhere because something is missing. And to me, that something seems to be the woman's willingness to put up with shit like this. I think a lot of men are scared to commit to a woman who has the choice to walk away and killing her self-esteem is one way to keep her around. A man will do something that dominates his partner in front of other people knowing that if she says something that reflects poorly on her. Women who are abused, who put up with abuse, like the woman who was humiliated in front of the entire family, she's going to take the blame because she didn't say something. But if she says something, she causes her partner shame. And if she causes her partner shame, she puts herself in danger. And when you are in a partnership with a man, you are supposed to protect him from shame, no matter what. You keep private matters private, even when he humiliates you and when he hurts you. It is your job to protect his comfort. If you don't protect his comfort, you are stepping out of line, you reflect poorly on him, you create more shame. And if you shame your husband, it looks like you are not doing your womanly duty. You're a bad woman if you cause your partner shame, even when it is deserved. Women can't win. Like and subscribe for more. Okay, that was taking it to a different place. <laughs> I'm not saying what they what they were saying isn't valid at all, but it just seemed like a bit of a reach for you to determine all of that based on those few short clips. We don't know those people. We don't know that they are abusing their wives or any of that at all. They could just be throwing little tantrums and being resentful because yeah they, they did have to get married and that's the thing i do agree though that some men get married because they feel like they have to and it's like okay this is what society wants me to do this is what um my woman wants so i'm gonna do it i hope i'm not lagging right now because i'm looking at myself here and it's looking like i'm lagging <sighs> this obs is pissing me off i've been having a lot of issues with it lately um anywho i will keep this short because i want to check on this but what i was going to say is oh my cousin so this reminded me of her because she gave her man an ultimatum okay he was not proposing to her and they have been together for x amount of years and she basically told him that she would leave him if he didn't propose to her and child <laughs> The drama that has occurred in their relationship or their marriage, rather, after that, it's like, girl, you've been better off, like, just finding somebody else or just letting him not marry you, girl, because this ain't it. This is not happiness at all. You could tell she be going through it. She always posting these cryptic messages and shit on social media. It's like, girl, just leave the marriage already. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!